fine, I'm sorry. Finally, because I will never have this kind of opportunity, I don't know anytime soon, my last request is to the Chief of Staff to the President. It's about the issue of insecurity, sir. Chief of Staff, sir, we beg you. We beg you in the name of God. Our people are in misery. Our people are in serious fear. We cannot sleep with our two eyes. I will give you an example. Sorry, sorry. So it's, very, it's very critical and very important. This is very important to Northern Nigeria. Please, let me say, I will never have... If you look at, if you look at what is happening regarding the issue of kidnapping in Northern Nigeria, I am a victim. I was, I was kidnapped too. But one key area that I want to state is, if you look at most of these kidnappers, if I will ask anybody a question here, have you ever had a situation where a, a kidnapper from the bush, from the forest, brought down an airplane? Nobody will say yes. They are mostly using AK-47. Because they know that no security, the security apparatus of the state cannot come in, synergize and go into the forest. So it means this is something that can be dealt with within a very few, within a very short period of time. Please and please, Chief of Staff, do something as I'm talking to you today. I have to pay some money for the ransom of my constraint. Thank you very much. Well, we'd like to thank you very much. The level of insecurity in the north has taken a rather crazy dimension as the attacks come almost successively without any form of intervention from the security agencies. Over the last week, more than 20 have been killed and over 15 kidnapped from different locations all in the northern region of the country. In a stakeholders meeting held recently, which had the chief of staff to the president who represented the presidency, Professor Gambari in attendance, a lawmaker from Kaduna State, Honorable Suleiman Ibrahim Dabo, had reported the continuous killings and kidnappings to the presidency. While given up an opportunity to speak, the lawmakers made it known that if, if he did not say what he had in mind, then he will not leave the podium. He informed the presidency that the level of insecurity in the region is a great call for concern. The lawmaker added that it was confusing why nobody, even the security agencies, were finding it difficult to prove the killings. He added that the bandits all came armed with AK-47 guns and all lived in the bush, bushes. But despite all this intel, it was still difficult for the security agencies to fish them out. According to the lawmaker, he has been a kidnapped victim before and he just paid ransom to free one of his constituents who was recently kidnapped. Recently, just yesterday, an APC chairman in Nasarawa State was announced to be kidnapped by hoodlums, but it turned out to it was a case of assassination and he was shot to the to death at a point blank range. Also, some students of the Amadubelu University were recently abducted some days ago, but have been released after paying huge ransoms. The Cardinal Abuja Road has been a death trap for a long while, a long while, and even as the hashtag Secure North Movement had started some months back during the Ensas Movement. It, however, begs for answers why the movement has suddenly died a natural death, why the killings and kidnappings are currently on the increase in the region. Mm -hmm. So that you can see even from the video, they didn't want the man to speak. They know what they are doing. These people know what they are doing. That's why the people are just keeping quiet. Maybe in the past, maybe some of the people or the masses have come out to cry and all to no avail. Nobody attended to them. Nobody is doing anything. But who are the people that will be bearing the whatever more? It is the same people. And I think they just want the same thing to happen in the southern part of the country. That is why they are not, they are always against uh, when people come out to speak, well, like we have said, the southerners should not just give up. And we, there's no way we are going to uh, 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 take all of those things and swallow it in. Uh, definitely, it is not going to happen. Let them continue with that. And you know, most of the time, the religion and illiteracy 
is one of the you know at the things or part of the things that's making the people not to be able to voice out their opinion and they always see the southerners as just being too exposed and that's why we can't even pocket what is not not at all not at all they didn't want that man to speak the question is that is the Buhari himself where is he where is the Buhari himself that the people have to be representing him but had it been there's an election coming up you will see Buhari moving from pillar to post you will see him moving from places to places you can imagine such a thing it's like he's been he's been they, he's been hidden they're hiding him i don't know why ah this is this is really ridiculous if you are presenting somebody from your region, present somebody who is competent. If you present somebody who the old Nigerian will be proud of. Not any how people. We have people who are very, 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 very competent in all the regions. And that is that is the truth of the whole matter. We have people. So why is it that it is people who are not who are not just I don't I can't really understand. Why is it that whenever they are killing the Christians in the north? The northerners will keep mute, but when they begin to kill the Muslims, the northerners will be shouting. The seed of hatred of people have sowed is really manifesting. The north northern leaders are hypocrites, and these are nemesis of an hypocrite. The whole thing is a price being paid for practicing nepotism. It is not easy for you to go all out to kill your kinsmen if the commits you need a third party to deal with the ugly situation no no they wanted to deal with that situation and Bugari said any attack against the the Boko Haram people is the attack against the north and um, and see what and it's like he loves it he loves what is happening anytime any such thing this kind of a thing happens just like uh, the APC chairman that died oh my goodness eh, eh, we condemn it that is the only thing he has been doing. We condemn it. I think now they are not even sending Oshibaju again. Oshibaju is not even going the errand of a uh, condolences again. You know they have they named him. Um, what do they call him? What were they calling him? The, okay, Minister of uh, Condolences. You know, which is very very um, unreasonable and unfair. Please don't cry. I think Jonathan don't know how to rule. Fair additional, we open his mouth to compare those killed under Buari and Jonathan. Are you tired of the lies? North is peaceful. Buari is the best thing that happens to Nigeria. Say Baba. They are enjoying the show. That is why they cannot protest. Attack on Boko Haram is an attack uh, on the North. Why are you people complaining? Nigeria is well secure than before. Good governance all the way. The North know what they are doing. Do you need to beg? The government is the best Nigeria has ever had and is doing well. Habi? Evil must uh, eventually be get uh, evil. You all were praising the president then, and now you are crying to him. I don't think he can hear you. No evil shall go unpunished. The northern leaders are avoiding to deal with the security problem in their region, and that is and that is pro uh, that is producing people. Uh, producing children and cannot cater for. Yes, they are producing children that they cannot cater for. Islamic countries like Saudi Arabia, Morocco, Tunisia, Malaysia, Malaysia and others control their population. The security si situation will get worse in some of the north until their leaders face the truth. Sorry, your Christ might not get to heaven. The soldiers are busy manning multiple checkpoints in the eastern region part of the country so guys uh, let us hear your opinion leave your comments and listen your thoughts on this